Ambrose Dixon Otieno Rachier was born on December 1, 1949. His father is known as Reverend Canon Hezron Rachier of Anglican Church and his mother is known as Lydia Haoko. Ambrose is the second born in a family of 12 children. Ambrose was born on a moving train because on that day his mother Lydia Haoko had boarded a train from Kisumu to join his father Hezron. On approaching Molo his mother went into labor and Ambrose was born in a moving train, he grew up in game in Siaya. He started his education at Sinaga Primary School and he then went to Ramba Boarding School in Rarieda. He wanted to join Alliance High School but he was admitted to the secondary school division of Kenyatta College in the year 1965. He later attended Alliance Boys High School for his A level where he undertook three subjects that is literature in English, French and history. He was sponsored to study French in Madagascar alongside James Orengo who is the governor of Siaya County. The sponsorship came because he was a beneficiary of the partnership between the government of Kenya and France. Ambrose returned to Kenya after completing his studies. He then went to Tanzania to further his education. While in Tanzania he studied in the same university with Ugandan President Uweri Kaguta Museveni and former Tanzanian President Jakaya Kikwete. They would go to nightclub in Hubungo. Uweri Museveni later completed the university two years ahead of him but Jakaya Kikwete was a year behind him. Ambrose revealed that they lived in the same house during their university days. He graduated with a bachelor's degree in law from the University of Dar es Salaam in the year 1974. Ambrose, who was admitted to the bar as an advocate of the High Court of Kenya in July 1975, is credited for various successes in the country. He earned his master's in law from the University of Nairobi in Kenya. He is the founder and senior partner at Rachia and Amolo Advocates. He has been an advocate of the High Court for over 30 years. In the year 2002 he was called upon to draft the infamous power-sharing memorandum of understanding MOU between NAC leaders like Mwai Kibaki, Kijana Wamalua, Raila Odinga, Kalonzo Musioka among others. They signed a deal that ended Daniel Moe's 24 years rule, Ambrose spearheaded and championed for the evolution of legal regime and systems geared towards the protection of the rights of the persons living with AIDS, he chaired the task force on HIV and AIDS credited with the creation of a draft bill on HIV and AIDS. He is also a member of Kenya Medical Research Institute and National Ethical Review Committee. He is also the chairman to the Kellen Board of Directors. Ambrose is the chairman of Go Mahia Football Club in Kenya since the year 2008. He revealed in an interview with an NTV reporter by the name of Duncan Kemba on October 1, 2022 that he is a member of the Freemason Secret Society. He said that Freemason existed from the year 1640 and members are invited to join the organization by friends. He revealed that Freemason engages in charity activities with the aim of uplifting humanity. Ambrose said that Freemason is not associated with the satanic worship and that the public have always made that assumption out of ignorance. He joined Freemason in the year 1994 after being introduced by his friend. He was introduced into the society by Dr. Joseph Aluok who is the patron of the Kenya Association for the Prevention of Tuberculosis and Lung Diseases. Dr. Joseph Aluok is also the husband to Joyce Aluok who is a judge of the International Criminal Court ICC. One friend proposed him and the other one supported the proposal. So he was interviewed, accepted, and he got initiated into the organization. Since then he has grown to become a senior officer in the Freemason organization. He went ahead to reveal that there is three stages in Freemason that one had to go through. That is the junior stage, apprentice, and master stage. 
He is currently on the 30th degree and the highest degree is 33 degree. He said that there are initiation rituals that one has to undergo if he or she joins the Freemason Society. He however refused to reveal them to society stating that it is the secret of the order of the Freemason. Ambrose confessed that they doesn't take oaths even though there is nothing wrong with the oath taking. Currently Freemason is moving from men only affair and women are now being allowed to join. Ambrose added that they doesn't offer people as a sacrifice to that organization because their main aim is providing charity to the people. He also stated that those who are in junior level are not introduced to certain things until they pass certain tests. At Freemason, they have special attires for specific functions in the organization and they have their meeting monthly from 6 p.m. until 9 p.m. They however doesn't have meetings in August, September and December. He has recruited 20 members from his family and they are comfortable with it. Freemason is not a religious organization but they all believe in the supreme being or the grand architect of the world. He however pointed out that they do not pray in the name of Jesus Christ. He revealed that the late Queen Elizabeth II was their leader. He added that many of the iconic buildings in Kenya were built by the Freemason. They include State House, All Saint Cathedrals among others. Ambrose is married and he has seven children. Two of children that his first-born son and his daughter followed into his footsteps and they are practicing law. Ambrose has taught law for the past 27 years and he currently teaches health law and policy to master's students at Strathmore University in Kenya.